Welcome back to Sleds and Gear, where we review the latest in snowmobiles and snowmobile gear. Today we're going to be reviewing the Pittsburgh Automotive 1.5 ton aluminum jack from Harbor Freight. I bought this for use in my snowmobile trailer, something that was lightweight and I could store easily in my snowmobile trailer. Around the holidays here you can find these for about 89 bucks. I think I paid 99 for this one at Harbor Freight uh, without a coupon. So let's open the box and see what's inside. So inside the box you're going to find the jack and the jack handle neatly packaged. I'm going to save this box so I can store the jack just like this in the back of my truck or my snowmobile trailer. The jack handle snaps together with a snap here right in the middle and has a rubber grip on the end. And we'll take these two styrofoam pieces out and take a look at the jack. It comes fully assembled. And we'll lift it right out of the box. And it's, it's pretty light, actually. I'm surprised. Okay, let's get the box out of the way so we can have a good look at this thing. It looks very high quality. I must say, overall, from the appearance-wise, I'm very impressed with the way it looks. It's got a blue anodized aluminum finish. It's got a handle on the side so you can hold it. The handle itself, the jack handle, seems to be well built. The jack's very light. I'd say 25 pounds. The casters in the back are great. Uh, we're going to put it on the scale here right now just to see if it is the weight that Harbor Freight claims. And we're reading about uh, 27 pounds and 3 ounces. And that's pretty light compared to what a steel jack weighs. A steel jack is very heavy. And I'm going to go ahead and throw the handle on here and see what it is total weight with the handle on the jack. And we'll set it carefully right on top of the jack and see what our total weight is. And the total weight comes in at 30 pounds 9 ounces. So about 30 and a half pounds. And in kilograms that's 13.8 uh, kilograms which is what is right on the outside of the box. So the jack rolls around pretty easily. I'm impressed with the construction overall. It's got a big roller in the front. These casters in the back look okay. They have a little more slop in them than maybe I would like but for a hundred dollars I'm not sure what you could expect. So we'll see how they work. And the handle just goes in here and tightens up at the base with a uh, thumb screw. And this comes with a plastic retainer that holds the handle down, so I'll have to get a screwdriver and pry that out. And make sure you save this piece for in the future. If you want to store this jack, you need to hold the handle down. So the jack handle just tightens up with a set screw here, and that's pretty much it. You're ready to go. So let's throw this thing under the truck and see what this can do. So what we're going to do here is slide this under the front of this Nissan Titan. And this is the tow vehicle that I use for my sleds on my snowmobile trailer. And so we'll go ahead and jack it up. It seems to be jacked up just fine. And we just exceeded the range of height for the jack. So if you have a truck, and this one isn't even lifted, if you have a truck, this jack is not going to do it for you. It won't even get the tire even a little bit off the ground. So at first I thought there was something wrong with the jack and then figured out that it is just a problem with the height. Okay, on to plan B with the trusty chunk of 4x4 scrap. We'll slide this under here and see if this gives us enough lift to at least get one of these tires off the ground. See if this one and a half ton jack will even lift this truck up. Normally I use at least two or three ton jacks. But a ton and a half should be enough to get this truck off the ground. So let's see how we do. We'll put this right underneath the frame. And this 4x4 four four block should provide enough height. And it does. I don't think that carrying around an extra block of 4x4 four four is that convenient but the jack is light and that's why I bought it light and compact 
and safer than the truck jack that comes with the truck. So that's what we'll be using. And it raises the truck off the ground easily and with a couple inches to spare. And when we go ahead and take this tire off, we'll throw a Harbor Freight jack stand underneath here, which uh, you should always be using some sort of a jack stand or some sort of secondary blocking under the frame of the vehicle when you're going to be working on it, whether you're under it or not. And so we'll lower this jack and set it on the jack stand just like this. So overall, I'm pleased with this jack. It seems to work well. It's lightweight. And if you found this content helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.